It's a very special video today because I'm going to introduce you to some very special friends. You're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious home-cooked recipes to share with your family and friends, but today it's a little different. I always wanted to get chickens. Hey, how's it going? You want to go down? All right. Go down. She was like, don't eat me. Oh my gosh, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> we recently moved the whole family out to rural northwestern Connecticut and it is gorgeous here. You can click up here for my we moved video <laughs> where I go over exactly what happened, all about the kitchen and, you know, a little bit of behind the scenes magic. But for now, let's talk about this whole animal situation. I always wanted to get chickens because, as you know, for my many recipes, I use a ton of fresh eggs. I'm also like more concerned with like where my food comes from and the fresher they are, the more they stay together. So they have different properties than aged eggs and aged eggs are actually good for things like making French macarons. Getting chickens is a big commitment though. I didn't know if I was ready for it. Also like what entails. So I wasn't ready to like build a coop and kind of jump in there. What I was ready to do is rent a chicken. So I rented some chickens from a local farm because apparently many people, I don't know if we're city slickers or what, thought about having chickens and weren't sure about it. So you get to like dip your toes into it and see what it's like. Um, these guys are so much different than I imagined they would be. If you've had like pet birds at home, they can be really, really aggressive <laughs> and like you don't want to get bitten by one, but chickens are so gentle and sweet one of the cutest things is they take dust baths. So they kind of like dig a collective little pit and they all roost in it and they just kind of like sh sh shimmy in there and hang out and the dust cleans their feathers. Another thing I learned about chickens is that they are excellent five-star rated hiders. So we had a whole situation at night a couple weeks ago where the chickens were not accounted for. So I was looking in the trees, like, where did they go? I was like, maybe they hopped the fence somehow. And then I was like, oh my gosh, a hawk must have eaten it. Like, I'm like, how did this happen? Like, I would have heard something, but there's like tons of like birds of prey around here and chickens are not the smartest, you know, dodgers. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna mourn this chicken. I was looking forever though, like looking, 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 looking. I was sad. The next morning I'm having my coffee and I hear, <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? That's not where the coop is. So I looked and I found the chicken hiding in the middle of a bush. If this is the bush, it was like right in the middle. <laughs> it had probably been there all night, just chilling. And like when I finally put it back in, just went, went to go see its friends, but all the other chickens were kind of looking in the direction because they knew where it was. And they're like, where's our friend? Why isn't it home? Georgina, do you want to do the intro? <laughs> Georgina says, I'm a star. <laughs> so if you're wondering about the whole Nigerian dwarf goat situation, this is Spencer. First of all, you met Georgina earlier, little boy and a girl goat, and they're so sweet. I am obsessed. Like, I just can't. I all, all I do is like, look at them, talk to them. I'm like, no. and they'll actually like talk back to you. And they actually are pretty cuddly. I'm just, I'm all around totally surprised and shocked. And they have the cutest faces. Oh my gosh. Georgina, you got some pretty cute lips there. If you can, you might need to get some Nigerian dwarf goats. You should get two though, so they have like a friend. All right, so let's talk about them for a second. Do you want to go back to eating plants? Yeah? Aside from being super cute, these goats stay less than two feet tall. So they're tiny now, they'll, gr they'll grow a bit, but they're still going to stay pretty small. And <laughs> Right now they might be nibbling on the cameraman. I'm <laughs> just gonna say that. <laughs> this is like a dipping our feet into it situation too. We're not renting them, they're here forever and I am like beyond obsessed with them. Georgina, you may continue eating the hostas. Bye bye. They are basically just gonna graze all day long. Just last night they discovered that we had some hostas <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, these are the best things ever. <laughs> and they're gone now. They're just like stubs and they're eating them all the way down. So they must be super delicious. They are not, I repeat, not into their second cut hay situation. They're like, this is dried grass. Why would we ever wanna eat this in goat talk? 
All right, but if you're wondering like, okay, well, what's one of like the struggles of having a goat? Basically keeping them safe because they're poor little defenseless babies. <laughs> so in order to keep Spencer and Georgina safe, we got a special friend named Bo. This is the sweetest dog in the world. I think unless you cross him, like he must have another side, but he is just like, hey, my name's Bo. I'm just looking around, keeping things safe. Look at this face. How could you say no to this face? Bo, say hi. So Bo just turned six months old. He is a little baby. <laughs> Great Pyrenees are giant dogs and they're really, really strong. <laughs> Bo enjoys lounging under the bushes during the day and, you know, keeping an eye on things at night. Now, I might have dropped some chicken feed over here when I was feeding the chickens earlier and Bo does like to nibble that. So if you're wondering why is he licking the grass, it's not medicine, he's just, He's just eating some chicken feed. Isn't that right, Bo? So that's the beginning of our little baby flock. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you want more updates on Georgiana and Spencer and what the current chicken situation is. You know, we actually have a whole barn, but it needs a major scrub down slash some repairs. So I don't think it's ready to be like the pet hotel <laughs> that we envision it to be yet. There will be a video on that coming up soon. Let me know if there's like other things that you want updates on. And if you can tell me why those cute charming goats are named Georgina and Spencer, I will be so impressed my head might explode. If you wanna see a full update on what happened when we moved, where I'm at, and what's up with the kitchen, click over here and be informed. I hear some thunder in the distance, so we might need to go inside right now, but I will see you in the next video.